PDF butter is customer, user, admin and developer focused. Design engaging and deal-winning documents in MS Word. Integrate these directly from Lightning UI. Automate with your favorite Salesforce.com tools like Process Builder and Flow. Go beyond and extend with Apex. We were just a bunch of nerdy kids who ignored the haters. We took their ridicule and we built on it. And when some of us gave up, well, we built on that too. Built resilience, built on a mission to make things a little better every day until the users came. Then the haters were VCs who scoffed at our audacity. This just isn't the way things are done. But we kept building. Users turned into teams, turned into companies, running their entire businesses on our apps. Then the software giants came after us. We weren't proven, we weren't fully featured, our radical cloud model wasn't secure, but we built on. And today, as companies adopt the cloud to move faster, teams are finding themselves slowed down by each other's efforts. The skeptics are claiming we'll never develop innovation at scale. But now, DevOps have come to the cloud, ushering in a new era of transformation Companies can release on demand across hundreds of environments, innovating faster with fewer conflicts and fewer disruptions. There will always be challenges. There will always be naysayers. And we'll build on. Let's go ahead and get started. If, if you want to learn about Salesforce CMS, this is the right session for that. Uh, I am Phil Weinmeister. I do work for Seven Summits, I'm VP of product there. Um, you can definitely reach out to me. Pretty easy to find me uh, if you know my name on Twitter, just Phil Weinmeister, and you can definitely connect, uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. If you let me know that you attended the session, that would be helpful if you want to connect with me on LinkedIn. So um, yeah, really happy to be here this evening or this morning or afternoon, depending on where you're at. Um, couple things about me just before we get started. Uh, really honored to be a Salesforce MVP. I was selected in 2015 and uh, I was um, selected again for this past year. So um, that's been exciting. Um, big fan of Salesforce certifications. Uh, so I have 20 of those. And um, But probably what I'm most proud of um, is my, my authoring. I have a couple books out there, um, one on practical Salesforce development without code, basically declarative development, and then also practical guide to Salesforce communities, really the only book out there on community cloud, especially from a, a declarative perspective. So just a few things about me, and now let's get to the main event here. Today's agenda is pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to give you an overview of CMS, but we're going to spend most of the time with a demo, that's that's the focus here. So you guys will see uh, CMS in action and it's new to a lot of people. So hopefully uh, you'll get a good amount out of it. Um, and our key concepts today are gonna be around cre uh, creation, curation, distribution, and presentation of content. First, I wanna start with Salesforce community. Now it's important to understand that um, CMS, as I'll show you in a minute, will work with other parts of the platform, absolutely. However, communities right now, at least, is definitely the focus of um, that content for a destination. So let's just talk a little bit about communities um, as the demo will take place in a community. Um, a community is really all about creating a digital experience that addresses use cases. So here we have our org, our Salesforce org on the left. You have everything that you've built in there, you know, functionality, process, uh, processes, metadata, data, logic. Um, on the right, you have your audiences. So maybe customers, employees, and partners. And there is some use case or some set of use cases that they want addressed. Um, and that's what you can do with communities is create this digital experience that satisfies those use cases. And you know they could be discussion or conversation, product catalog browsing, social media integration, uh, what have you. And CMS is gonna play a role in this because content is at the core of a lot of these use cases. So that's why 
Community Cloud is such a great destination for the CMS content. Um, it is where CMS started. So when CMS first started, it was actually a part of Community Cloud. Um, it has now broken out of uh, Community Cloud and it is its own entity on the platform very tightly integrated with Community Cloud, but um, it, it was pulled out, and I think that was a smart move. Uh, first thing I wanna mention is around you know CMS collection, and that's all about rich content, supporting rich content without customization. So um, I love code, first of all, let me just mention that. Code is awesome, tons of great things you can do on the platform. Um, you know, I run the product team at Seven Summits, and we build custom components. So it's all about code. Um, but at the same time, it is great to be able to create an experience without requiring that. So let's take a look here. Let's think about products for a second. <clears throat> when you think about products um, and you think about a community especially, think about what you want to see. Do you want to see a, a record list down here at the bottom left? Is that something that is an exciting experience for anyone? No, not really. Well, uh, what you'll see today in the demo is taking this record list and going to this um, in minutes. So that's something that's really exciting to be able to do. And um, it really changes the game again, especially depending on you know who's managing and building out the community. Let's go ahead and shift and talk about workspaces for a second. So um, workspaces, a workspace is the container in which content is managed for CMS. Um, and the idea here is you can create a workspace. First of all, you can manage who has, who has um, uh, access to create and, and manage it in that workspace, but also what channels it goes to. So um, on both sides, you're controlling that, you know, who can get into this workspace and where that content goes. So you can send it to Marketing Cloud, Commerce Cloud, Heroku, and of course, community cloud as well. So that the, a key point here is the reusability of the content as well, which is really nice. And uh, also, let's talk for a minute about CMS Connect. So um, this falls under the CMS umbrella for sure. It's a little bit different than um, some of the other pieces we'll talk about today, but CMS Connect essentially allows you to take external content and pull it in also declaratively. So that's really useful as well. And with that, we're actually gonna go ahead and jump into the demo here. So give me one second and let me switch over and we'll get started. a hiking gear, outdoor sporting gear type of company. Uh, you may have heard a name similar to Trailface, and yeah, that's where it came from. Um, but we're going to go with that today. So Trailface customer community using Salesforce CMS. That's our story. Let's go back here. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to CMS Home. So I already have it open in this tab. And you can see here, uh, you can look at your workspaces and your communities or experiences as well. We are going to create a CMS workspace. That's the first thing we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and we'll call it Trail Face because that is the workspace. That's a community that we're going to be working with today. We're going to go ahead and say next, and we will click on the Trail Face community here, TF for short. All right, we're not going to add any additional users. Uh, we can add languages. We'll just add English for now. And make that the default. All right, here's the summary and we're done. So the presence of a workspace is very important. It allows us to um, not only determine where this content goes out to, but who can manage it. So there's two key elements to that. Um, important new aspect of the platform there for sure. So here we are, 
we are in the trail space, I'm sorry, the trail face workspace, and we need to add some content. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and click on add content. And the first thing we're going to do is add a news article. So let's click on news for content type, create, and here we go. We'll add a title, trail face to donate 50% of hiking gear, hiking gear proceeds to fight global pandemic. Here's the body. We'll go ahead and paste the same text in for the summary. And we want to add a banner image as well. So click add image. We need to add some content here. Upload from desktop. We're going to go ahead and pick that first image. Man looking out over mountain. Great. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. And you can see our news article is ready to go. It's ready to be published. Let's first save a draft. And great. So here it is. It's a draft right now. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and publish this news article. So publish. Now it will be available in the channels that we've specified. And one of those channels is the Trailface community that we talked about a minute ago. Great. So let's go ahead. We're going to add these one at a time. Let's go ahead and add this to our community. So here, here's our community. Let's go to Experience Builder. And let's go ahead and drop that in. This will leverage the CMS single item component. So we can type in CMS here in Quick Find in Experience Builder. We can find that CMS single item component right here. Let's go ahead and take that and drag and drop it down to content. We will add content and there it is trail face to donate 50%. Great. So let's go ahead and select that save. All right. So here it is. Does not look too exciting. However, that's because we need to do some work on the configuration side. So here under content layout, we're going to expand that. Take a look. Everything's good there, <clears throat> but down below, we want to select field mappings. This is the key image. Let's get this to show up banner image. Let's map that to banner image. And there it is. So awesome. Uh, for headline, let's map that to title. And if we wanted to, we could say subheading, uh, maybe the excerpt. Let's try that. Okay. Excellent. So there it is. Uh, you know, we want this to be featured, maybe not so tall, however. So let's go ahead and shorten it. For that, we're going to go to component style and change banner height. Let's drag that down a little bit, maybe a little bigger than that. Okay, great. There we go. And let's change some details of that button. So right now it says view. Let's change it to read article and we'll leave the styling as it is. So read article, there it is. Awesome. So there's our first piece of content. So one concept that's really important to get, you might be thinking, well, I can, I can kind of do something similar with the rich content editor, sort of, um, yeah, rich content editor, you can go in, you can add an image, you can add text, you can modify the text. You can't overlay the text on the image. Although you can do that with um, the flexible layout page. You can do some of that. You can throw rich text on top of a region with a background to it. So that is possible. However, big thing here is you don't have to manage the content from within the community. You don't really want to do that. Content will change and you don't want to republish your community every single time there's a change. So what if there is a typo? What if you need to add more information? You don't want to republish your whole community. The content sits outside the community. That's what's great about it. Plus you could share this elsewhere. So this could be in a commerce cloud site uh, as well, and you can manage it in one place. Okay. So that's CMS single item. Great. Um, we're going to go ahead and go back 
into our workspace. All right, so here we are. Let's go back to the trail face workspace. And you can see here, we did create an image at the same time when we created that news article, that was the banner image. So now it's time to create a second piece of content. And what trail face wants to do, they want to publish an official statement on their response to COVID-19. And we have a document for that. So we're going to go ahead and upload a file for that. Let's go ahead and do that. And here we go. All right, official COVID-19 statement.pdf. We'll say official statement on COVID-19. We'll add trail face in there. Alt text we'll leave alone and we'll go ahead and save draft. Okay, so this one has been saved as a draft. Let's go ahead and publish it. Excellent. So we've published this document. Let's go back out to the community, go back to Experience Builder, and let's play around with this a little bit here. We want the same CMS single item. Let's go to Sidebar Featured, Add Content. Okay, so we see our new document here. We're going to go ahead and select that and save. All right, just like with the other a news article, we can see that there's really nothing there yet. That's fine. We need to configure it. So let's go to content layout. We'll look at layout in a moment, but first let's go ahead and map the fields. For image, let's go ahead and, and link to source or map it to source. There's a document. Um, we can do headline is title. Great. And for this one, you know, we have some options here. We can leave it like this. Uh, we can take a look at these layouts, see how they look. Mm, maybe we'll take a look at the other one here. All right, you know what? We'll go ahead and um, we'll leave it like that. Official trail face statement on COVID-19. Um, all right, that looks fine. And we want people to be able to easily accept, access this document. Um, because everybody wants to know, you know, what are they doing with their stores? How are they handling customers? Well, here you go. Just go to that trail face statement on COVID-19. And again, it can be managed outside the community, which is awesome. Okay, great. Now we're going to change things up a little bit and we are going to share a, a list of featured products. Now in the past that I showed earlier, uh, a record list is not something that's very exciting. Um, that's really not something that in most communities is a desired component, is a list of records when it comes to products. There may be other records where that's relevant, but with products, people want to see the products themselves. With CMS content, we can do that, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and get out of the community for a minute, and let's go ahead and navigate to products. I've already set up a few products in advance here. So we have six products. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at one and I'll show you some of the data we have here. So I set up you know, product code, uh, some basic stuff, added a product family, set it to active. And then we have a display URL. So I have made these um, static resources and just threw in the URL into each of those records. So we have six products that are all in the trail face product family. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually create a new list view. And this is how CMS collections work. They're going to reference a list view. So let's say featured trail face products. All users can see this view, save. And let's go ahead and add filters. And the filter will be product family equals trail face done and save. And so that filters out all those other products that we don't care about right now. You know, those great Gen Watt uh, default products in Salesforce. All right, we have those six. So 
let's go ahead and let's go back out to the community. Uh, before that, just a quick note. As you know, list views are, as you know, list views are dynamic. This is a great thing. So this is a way that you can have existing content and you can dynamically reference it. Essentially, this is a query. And over time, as records change and they fall in and out of this list view, your community will automatically, dynamically show the appropriate content. That's why this is so valuable. Let's go out to Experience Builder. Let's go ahead and click on Components. And this time we care about CMS Collection. All right, so here we go. Let's drop that down. And again, we need to configure it. So we have to add a collection first. Oh, yeah, we need to add a collection. So we did the list view, but we have not added a collection yet. And we're going to do that now. Let's go to workspaces. And we need to go to content management. Now when we go to collections, we say create collection. We'll say featured products. Click on Salesforce CRM. Next, we should see product here. And there it is. All right, so we've added product and now we have to select one of the list views. I already created one for this specific purpose of so featured trail face products. Now notice here, you get the included fields. We're going to come back to this in a minute. Notice I have name, code, description, family. All right, let's click finish. Okay, here's our content. Great. We're going to go back to experience builder. And in Builder, we are going to configure the collection component. So here we go. CMS collection, add collection. There it is, featured products, perfect. Okay, we're cruising along now. Nice. Okay, this is looking really good. Let's go to collection layout so I can choose how, how many products I want to show. I can do three, I can do six, I can do really whatever I want, which is pretty nice. Um, we're going to leave it like this for now, uh, but you can change this around. We'll change it around once I configure it. I really want to get to the content layout and look at field mappings. So when we go to Im image, um, notice I don't have the display URL here. It's a little bit of a problem, but don't worry, we can solve that. Let's go ahead and let's go back into Salesforce here, internal Salesforce. And what I'm going to do is look at this list view and we need to change it up. We need to change which fields to display. So in this case, I don't really need the product family. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm not going to show product description here either. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to add display URL and we should be good. Well, uh, you know what, we'll go ahead and keep description here and we'll save. Excellent. So back out to experience builder, let's go ahead and refresh. And this will allow us to grab that display URL field for image. At least that's the idea image and it's not there. So let's go ahead and refresh everything. depending on what you're trying to get to. Some of it requires a just a builder page refresh. Some of it requires a browser page refresh. So this time, here we go. CMS collection, collection and content layout. We go down, field mappings, image. There it is. Great. Display URL. Let's select it. We should see images. If we don't, we have another step to do. All right. Well, we don't see them here. Interesting. Well, that's because we do need to add a whitelist. There it is, blocked resource. That's because I have these as static URLs, and here's the base domain for that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and whitelist the URL. Let's do that. Okay, great. Okay, here we go. So, all right, nice. The images are there. Excellent. And let's continue this. Let's go ahead and go down to content layout again. And let's add the titles. So headline, let's go with product name. 
we could do maybe subheading product code. Excellent. All right, that is looking a lot better now. Um, we don't really need to view more items because we don't have any other items. So we want to go ahead and get rid of that. Let's go ahead and find that. All right, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the view more items button. So let's click on that. Great. If we want to show a collection title, we can. We can say featured products. See how that looks. Excellent. Let's go ahead and leave that there. All right. So again, we have created a CMS collection that dynamically brings in this content, which is awesome. Um, it also will automatically take us to these product pages as well. So if a user comes in, takes a look at CMS collection, they click on amazing backpack, they're going to go to the product detail record. Now, if you want to make it look better than the standard look, you'll still need to add some custom components to that product detail page. Okay. We're not quite done yet. Um, we actually want to bring in some content from outside of Salesforce. So this is where it gets really, really exciting in my opinion. Um, and we're going to probably need to change the look up a little bit here and we'll do that as we go along. What we're going to do is, is actually bring in a WordPress blog. So this is really exciting, fun stuff here. Let's go ahead and go to content. And here we are with CMS Connect. And let's add a CMS connection. Okay, so let's go ahead and start setting this up. I have some information I'm going to reference here that I'll be pasting in. So Trailhead Connect, I'm sorry. So Trail Face Connect. We need to change CMS source to WordPress. Connection type is public. And server URL is, here you go, public-api.wordpress.com. We're going to scroll down until we get to the JSON section. So let's add JSON. Content type name. We're going to go with blog feed. And let's go ahead and add content item. All right, for name, we'll say blog item. The path is going to be unique to each blog. Um, you can actually find a good blog post on this if you search for Capricorn Coffee CMS Connection Example. So if you have a WordPress site, do that. ID path is ID and title path is title. Now we need to add a content list. Okay, Bl name is blog list path here we go. That's also unique to my specific blog. And then node path is posts. That's all we have to do here. Let's go ahead and click save. Review CSP settings. So we need to make sure that we've added the external domain. Great. We can do that in just a minute. So we've created the CMS connection, which is a huge step. And now we're going to go back into builder and we're going to set the rest of this up. So let's go ahead and go to builder. All right. Okay, here we are. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and add the trusted site. So let's do that. Or actually trusted site. So I'm going to go ahead and click on security add trusted site and we'll say WordPress and let's add this URL, add site. Excellent. That's active. That should be good. And let's go ahead and add the following component. We'll search for CMS again, and we're going to want to add CMS connect JSON. Now, I mentioned before we, we might want to change up the look of this a little bit. Um, so let's do that now. All right. And this shows you how easy it is to move this stuff around. So let's go ahead and move this article over to the right. All 
All right, excellent. That's good. And um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of the, the title of the component. Sorry, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of the collection title. And I don't want to show six anymore. Let's just show three, maximum rows displayed three. Okay, so very easily I hit those last three. Awesome. And also keep in mind with your list view that is driving this, if you sort it, um, it'll be sorted in the same way. So you can have it show, you know, the most relevant records or something like that. But again, it's dynamic. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and bring in our WordPress blog. So let's do that. Components, CMS, CMS Connect, JSON. All right. And we're going to keep featured products at the top. And let's drop this down below. Excellent. And our CMS source, here it is, Trailface Connect. We just set that up, JSON content. Um, we're going to go ahead and then configure this now. All right. So here we... JSON content will select blog list. I'll leave component path blank, content list layout grid. We'll say six and three, that's totally fine. Um, down below, content list item layout card. And then we have a few values that we need to go ahead and paste in here. So here's for title. Author slash name here, we have date, content for the body, if we, uh, and for if image source, featured image. Okay, so we put that all in there, everything else looks good, and we're going to go ahead and save. Let's see if this works. All right, we're getting very, very close. So we can see the content there. We don't see the images quite yet. And let's go ahead and close. And let's add, oh, look at that, another CSP error. Let's go ahead and whitelist that URL. Excellent. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's scroll down. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Great. So we're going to actually do one last thing just to spruce it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to take that rich content editor and for consistency, we're going to go ahead and drop it. In. All right. So hopefully that was a good overview. Um, I'm going to stop on the last step, something that I was I was going to show around um, basically some rich content editor, but um, that's really outside of CMS and I want to make sure we get everything in today. So let's go ahead and um, just wrap up with a couple of things. First, I want to make sure that you guys understand for next steps what you can do uh, to keep growing. So definitely check out um, Trailhead, of course, for that. Um, my book, Practical Guide to Salesforce Communities, is would, would help with the community side of things. Um, although it doesn't have CMS because that came out after that. Um, but definitely check out some blogs. I've written a couple on CMS so far. So if you go to wineforce.wordpress.com, that will have information there. Uh, on that, definitely go create an org and play around with it. If I would definitely encourage you to get a summer of 20 org and um, go ahead and, and play with CMS. That's going to be the best way for you guys to get familiar with this um, for sure. There's, of course, there's not a CMS certification, but I'm all about certification. So definitely check that out um, around communities. Now, what I want to do, we have just a few minutes. I do want to try to get to the Q&A, um, but I did mention the Kahoot. So we're going to try to do this here. Um, so you guys will have to jump on quickly and follow along. 
Give me a second and we're gonna get started. All right, here we are with Kahoot. I'm gonna make sure I'm paying attention to the um, Zoom chat here and checking time. Let's go ahead and get started. Haven't done this before, so bear with me. Okay, here we go. I think everything here is correct and let's see how this works. So classic. Okay. There is some wild music there. Let me turn that off for now so you guys don't have to hear that. Um, so go ahead and join with that pin. Just go to kahoot.it and type in that pin. So I'm going to give everybody a minute to do that. But we don't have a ton of time, so we will have to get going. So kahoot.it, I'm going to type it in here. And then the pin is four eight seven zero seven nine six. Phil, you're typing it to me. I've given it to the ah. Sorry, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it will get passed on here, and look for the pin here in the chat. I will retype it for everyone. All right. So there it is. There's the URL and the pin, and we're going to go ahead. All oh, right, we're getting some people here, great. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started in just a second. Let's say when we get to 30, okay, we're at 30. Let's get this party started. And I'll just kind of read along. Within what entity is Salesforce CMS content managed? Folder, CMS library, workspace, or group? Remember, the faster you answer, it gives you more points if you get it right. Excellent. Most of you guys got that. Let's keep it going. Margo in the lead by two points. Nice. All right, here we go. Second question. We're just going to move along pretty quickly. Multi-select double points what content types are supported in cms as of summer 20. i showed it in the demo and it's image document and news. Those are the three content types. All right, Mahavir, nice. Let's keep it going. True or false? CMS content can only be viewed in a Salesforce community. And this was maybe a little tougher, but it is false. Oh, Mahavir, three correct answers in a row, nice. Okay, here we go. Multi-select. What standard components are available for Salesforce CMS? Multi-select, and I showed these in the demo. CMS collection and CMS single item are the answers there. All right, this is good. I like it. It's getting mixed up here. All right, remember, you got to answer quickly. Getting interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it is. All right, we got a couple questions left. Here we go. Double points. Which clouds or platforms can display Salesforce CMS content? I had a diagram at the beginning that showed these different clouds or platforms which ones can display salesforce cms content it was all of them it was all of them that was a little bit of a trick there so if you got all of them great job 
going to keep going quick because I know we have time time limit here. A list view is a list view required, or the statement is a list view is required to utilize a CMS collection. Is that true or false? Remember, time matters here, so get those answers in. It is true. List view is required. Oh, nice. This is getting real good. Three left here. We're on seven out of ten. Multi-select. Double points. Which front end elements can be controlled in a CMS collection component? We have field mappings, featured media, component style, and the blink tag. Multi-select here. Yeah, that blink tag is not supported, unfortunately. I think that died a while back in an older version of HTML. Let's keep going. Next question, which of the following is a standard component available, available for CMS Connect? That's what I showed at the end with WordPress there. So which of the following is a standard component available for CMS Connect? It is CMS Connect JSON. I see some answers in the chat that won't actually help you, but, um, and you probably don't want to do that if you have the right answer. You're going to, you're just giving it away. So here we go. A couple left. True or false? CMS Connect allows a WordPress blog to be displayed in a community without requiring code. Get those answers in quickly here. Go ahead and enter your answers in Kahoot. You don't have to throw them in the chat. True is correct. And our last one, let's see who's in the lead. Adwait is up, but it's close. Matt L is right on Adwait's tail there. Here we go. Last question. True or false? Salesforce CMS was originally within Community Cloud and not a platform-wide app. I mentioned this at the very beginning of the demo. And it actually was. It was within Community Cloud, and they pulled it out of Community Cloud, um, and now it's platform-wide. Let's check out the results here. Third place, Margo. Excellent job. Second place is Matt L. And first place, Adwait. That is awesome. Great job. Very cool stuff. I think we should we should take one or two uh, questions. Uh, Sounds great. I'll do just a couple, um, but everybody just want to let you know you can absolutely uh, follow up with me. So if you have an important question, uh, Phil Weinmeister on Twitter, please ask me. I'll tell you it's two a.m. or two forty-five. So I, I probably want to answer you tonight, but I'll follow up. Um, here we go. Let's, uh, let me check out a few of these. Okay, really quickly, let me try to answer a few. Keen to know how this content could be used in Salesforce Marketing Cloud and Content Builder, CPQ, and Salesforce Service Clouds. So this is interesting. Um, there, it's TBD on CPQ and Salesforce Service Clouds, um, unless it's in a community. If it's in a community, you basically saw um, what you can do. Um, if it's in Lightning Experience, that is, that's a little bit TBD. There's nothing available right now that allows you to do it out of the box. I don't know about marketing cloud, so I won't comment there. Um, that I don't, I haven't seen that myself in marketing cloud. Uh, we're going to keep going. Sales enablement feature. Can you run insights? Um, right now, I don't think there's a lot of analysis. I think that'll come out more and more over time. I mean, basically, it's not primarily a sales function. I'll tell you that. Think about content. Think about documents, images and news that you want and you have multiple destinations like commerce cloud or marketing cloud or community cloud do you want to create those things three times well today you probably have to and you have to lay them out three different times um, in different ways so now you can manage it centrally and then you can store it out there uh, touch on cms and 
CMS Connect licensing. Um, yeah, CMS Connect, there's nothing separate if you already have everything you need for Community Cloud. There is a CMS tier in general, um, and basically it allows, if you're gonna use CMS, Connect, uh, CMS a lot, it gives you more storage and some additional things. Um, check with your AE on that, but, but it's not CMS Connect specific. That is, um, that is no additional cost. You can go in and, and check that out today. I'll, I'll just quickly run through two more news will change daily. So it can be automated or something, right? Great question. I don't, I don't think they've, I don't think Salesforce has totally figured all that out yet. Uh, honestly, I think they're figuring that out. Uh, just for now, I would think anything like that, I would focus on the list view, which is a collection so that it could be dynamically shown. So then you're not going into builder and having to, you know, change what's there. It'll show up depending on what your list view shows, but actually publishing a news article, there isn't like a publication date right now. So it's a good question. Um, last one, I'll, well, content builder and marketing cloud. I don't know the answer to that. It's a good question. And then last, you need a license for Salesforce CMS. As I mentioned, uh, you don't need a separate license. You basically get a free license for it, but if you want to use it a lot, there is a paid tier. Um, so for most companies, you won't need to, um, but uh, you, you can. So I would go through more, but I know we're at time. So please definitely hit me up. If you guys uh, have additional questions, please hit, hit me on Twitter or connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, I'm very easy to find there and I would love to hear more from you. I really appreciate the time. Uh, hopefully you guys get some value out of this. Uh, whether or not CMS is right for your company, hopefully at least you learned what it is. So thank you so much for this opportunity tonight.